Hello dear friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry first. Myself, lecturer Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gaudi, MPM in Quality Assurance and lecturer in KKVAG Institute of Pharmacy, Chandori. Today we are going to deal with limit test. Today's our experiment number is 5. Title of the experiment to perform and report limit test for iron on the given sample as per Indian Pharmacopoeia. So, let's start with principle. The limit test for iron is based on the reaction of iron in ammonical solution in the presence of citric acid with the thioglycolic acid. When a pale pink to deep reddish purple color is developed due to the formation of ferrous thioglycolate complex, the color produced from the specific amount of substance from the test is compared with the color produced in the standard solution by weaving vertically. Means in that we have to identify or observe the color developed that is pale pink to reddish purple color with the test solution. Ferrous ammonical ammonium sulfate is used as a standard solution. The test is very sensitive and interference of other metal cations is eliminated by using 20% weight by volume citric acid. The iron free citric acid is used to complex metal cation other than iron if any. Means if any complex metals are present in the reaction then that Complex metals are removed by citric acid. Ferrous thioglycolate complex is colorless in acidic or neutral solution. That means the color is only developed in alkali, in presence of alkali. Citric acid forms ammonium citrate buffer when ammonia is added to make alkaline and which in turn stabilize the complex form and ammonia used to make solution alkaline that means we easily identified the color change of ferrous thioglycolate complex and then we observe the test against standard this is the reaction behind limit test for iron ferrous iron when treated with thioglycolic acid it forms thioglycolate complex and it has pale pink to deep purple color. So for the limit test of iron we require iron free citric acid 20% weight by volume solution of citric acid 20 mg citric acid in 100 ml of water then that becomes 20% weight by volume solution of citric acid and we require 10% weight by volume solution of ammonia in water that means 10 ml in 90 ml of water to produce 100 ml. Now standard iron solution we have to prepare standard iron solution for that weigh accurately 0.1728 grams of ferric ammonium sulfate and dissolve it in 10 ml of 0.1 normal sulfuric acid and make up to 1000 ml with water and 1 ml is equal to 0.02 mg of ferrous. Glassware require Nessler cylinder, measuring cylinder, pipette, glass rod. Now for the actual practical we move towards laboratory. Welcome in chemistry lab. So today we are going to deal with limit test. Limit test for limit test for iron. So let's start with actual practical. First of all, we have to perform standard solution and then prepare test solution. First of all, take Nessler cylinder and label it as a standard solution. So let's start with procedure. Take two ml of iron standard solution. This is our iron standard solution which is freshly prepared. Take 2 ml of iron standard solution. And 
put it into Nestler cylinder. Then add 2 ml of 20% wet by volume solution of iron free citric acid. This is iron free citric acid and add 2 ml of this iron free standard solution into the Nestler cylinder. Then add 0.1 ml of thioglycolic solution, sorry, thioglycolic acid into Nestler cylinder. We require only 0.1 ml of the cylinder. Then mix it properly with the glass rod. And make this solution slightly alkaline with the help of dilute ammonia. Again dilute this solution up to 50 ml with the distilled water. After stirring, we have to address up to 50 ml with the distilled water. Now keep this solution aside for 5 minutes and, and now prepare the solution for test. For the limit test for iron, we require test sample is sodium chloride. So, weigh approximately accurately 2 grams of sodium chloride. cylinder of then add 20 ml water to dissolve this sample Zero point one ml of thioglycolic acid. Ammonia solution to make it alkaline. With glass rod and I 
to up to 50 ml with distilled water. Again shake it properly and allow to stand for 5 minutes and then compare it against standard solution. Allow to stand for 5 minutes for the solution. Now the color intensity view against the white background. Observation, the color intensity produced in the sodium chloride test solution is less as compared to standard solution. This is our standard solution which shows purplish color and this is the test solution. As compared to standard solution, here the color intensity is less as compared to standard solution. That means the given sample of sodium chloride complies the test as per Indian pharmacopoeia for limit test of IR.